Welcome back to our channel. I'm Jamie. And I'm Olivia. This time we did something very challenging. It, it took us a lot of time. It took us around four days to do, not all day, but four different times when we started and stopped. And we are going to show you today how to do this gingerbread house. This gingerbread house. So what we are going to do exactly is um, a cake in the shape of a house with the slanting roof and we are going to cover that in cookies and then decorate it. So first of all we decided that there are so many things to do. We are going to make two ready-made cakes. We just add oil and whatever Jamie's gonna add to them because she's the one in charge of that. So there goes in the batter mixed with the olive oil she's gonna make. So she's doing that first. Once those two cakes are ready, we will cut them and then stack them on top of each other so that we will have a longish house. So the cake is soon ready. She just has to whisk it a bit more. we're nearly done this already takes quite a lot of our time to bake these two cakes in the meantime we did the dish covered with the paper the baking paper Jamie also did the butter she did quite a lot we wanted to make sure it didn't stick sometimes it happens so in that way it will help the sides we really didn't have to do the baking sheet because that you will remove one way or another with the knife you will manage to get off but the bottom is always the problem so that is done. Even the sides she did with a lot of butter. She put the butter in. That is ready. Cake is ready as well, we baked it and she's gonna transfer it to a plate so that we cut it and stack it one piece on top of the other. You see how easy it goes out of the dish with the baking sheet? <laughs> okay, so that would be cut in actually four pieces. So it will be quite high and they're doing two cakes so there will be eight of them for the house to be good a good size so jamie is now cutting the cake in half as i said she will then cut it again horizontally so we'll have four pieces, stack them one on top of the other.
we did another cake in the meantime so jamie did another cake in the meantime again with the baking sheet which is a really good idea as nothing sticks to the tin again cutting it in half So cutting them again. We are not going to go through the trouble of cutting it even because anyway, it's going to have the cookies that <laughs> keep it in place. Now, this is the roof. So we cut the edges. And once we put the roof on the rest of the square of the house, we made it straight we tried to make it as straight as possible because there were too many cakes and in between we put nutella so that it will stay in position and also we put a stick in in the middle so that it will not be wobbly and it will not fall down that's why we weren't so careful about how it looked now, because as I said, it's going to be covered in cookies. So this is the recipe for the cookies that we're doing. The butter. flour, sugar, Jamie's mixing all together, so this is going to take us a few days to do, because we did the cake on the first day, we did the second cake on another day. Now we're doing the biscuits today, the cookies, and then we'll have more days to decorate it and finish it. So the dough is ready. Jamie's kneading it out. So we'll start cutting the shapes. So what we have to do is we have to measure now because we don't know how big we have to do the cookies. Luckily, this dough that we chose doesn't expand or become small. So we know that it's going to stay that size. Okay, so it was about 11 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So we cut the pieces, putting them in the oven and also for the rooftop. Now we're sticking the cookies, they're ready. We melted some Nutella and we're sticking the cookies with Nutella. The problem is normally people use buttermilk, but we don't like it. We don't like buttermilk, so we're using Nutella instead. We hope it will stick. Right, Jane? Yes. So she's putting some Nutella on the cake too. Shall it stick? I hope so. You hope so, Jane? We are shopping for the decorations now. Jamie is choosing what she wants. This is for the roof. So.
Jamie has a lot of patience. Now she's cutting each and every stick the size of the rooftop to stick onto the rooftop. Just to be careful, it won't break as well. And put Nutella on it. And stick it on the roof. And another one, and another one. Until we do it all. We left a bit of cake for the chimney as well. In fact, we're discovering this stick that we put in the middle. At the top, we had a bit of stick coming out, and we stuck a piece of cake up there to make the chimney. They were nearly ready. And it's done. All she needs to do are those to cover up the holes at the, at the top of the roof. Okay, it's done. So now the fun part, yay! Jamie's doing the door. It's hard, right, Jamie? We bought this ready-made icing. But it's true that it tells you to keep it in the bowl with hot water. We did it, but still, it didn't come too runny. And it's so hard. She's pressing hard. Next time we'll buy something more user-friendly. So she's doing a window as well. 